Hi everybody, it's me, The Amazing Atheist, and today I'm gonna to be talking about famous financial analyst, at least as famous as fucking financial analysts get, Howard Lindzen. Eh, yeah? anybody? Five people know who that is. Okay, yeah, I never heard of him either, don't feel bad. Why are we talking about him? Well, because recently he appeared on uh, Bloomberg uh, I get, look, I, I did some research on this guy. He has a long, boring history with Twitter, and he's a financial expert, so they brought him on Bloomberg for some fucking fluff piece uh, about Trump. They're like, the, the way that the story is presented is like, well, you know, uh, the president really seems to like Twitter, and he's got a big following there, and he's a huge social influencer there. How can Twitter capitalize on that, you know, since they're not doing so hot right now? And uh, they brought this guy on, Howard Lindzen, to talk about what Twitter should do. And this uh, financial expert then proceeds to offer, I mean, maybe I'm an idiot. You know, he's the financial genius. I'm just some fucking schlubby high school dropout that's an angry guy on YouTube. But... He offers up what I think is some really shitty advice. Let's see if you agree. Considering all the attention Donald Trump gets from his tweets, how can the struggling company, Twitter, monetize off of the president-elect? Um, obviously, I think they should take big risks. I mean, if I own the stock right now, I talked about it last week, I finally bought some back because my daughter tweets, oh. and she's in college. So they have a harassment problem, big problem. The harassment starts right now at the top. Trump's lived on borrowed time on the platform. It's a privilege, not a right. He has abused the privilege. Uh, he is not special. He is the president now, but he broke the rules years ago and is lucky to be on the platform. So that's the main problem with Twitter. And Twitter should kick him off. Uh, Twitter, that, those are the type of moves Twitter needs to make. They need to make bold moves. They need to get into the transaction business and they need to get rid of uh, spam, and that starts right at the top. Guy, right. guy has not helped the stock. No, no. The stock will rise 20% kicking him up. Okay, so the question posed to you, financial expert Howard Lindzen, is how can we use the fact that Trump is such a huge, popular, powerful force on Twitter, how can Twitter use that to benefit themselves in terms of, you know, uh, their... their, their Profits as a company, how much money they're making, how fucking prosperous and successful they are. How can they use his success and make it their success? And your answer was, kick him off the platform. Um, <laughs> and, and your reasoning is like, we got to deal with these harassers on Twitter, you know. Right in the same breath is like, my daughter's on Twitter. We got to get rid of these harassers. I'm sorry, um, you, are you giving Twitter financial advice or are you giving them personal advice based on your own moral judgments of what's right and wrong? Because those are two totally separate fucking things, okay? Um, you know, you can make a case, I think, for why Twitter needs to censor people and why we need to stop harassment on Twitter and, you know, we gotta stop these trolls and these bullies, these cyber bullies. We gotta stop them. But that's not a financial argument. That's a moral argument. I think it's a piss poor moral argument, but I at least recognize that it is an argument. But to say that the best financial course of action for Twitter would be to kick off Trump, I mean, are you fucking insane? How many, how many followers does Trump have on Twitter again? How many followers, I mean, I, I should have fucking wrote this down in my fucking little Cheat sheet of two things. How shitty my memory is. I'll check it real quick. Sorry for the unprofessionalism. I know you usually expect nothing but the best from me. Trump's got 19.9 million followers on Twitter. Nearly 20 million fucking followers on Twitter. And the engagement on his tweets is just like through the fucking roof. Everything he tweets, even if it's insipid bullshit, like, I didn't like Saturday Night Live. People are like, yeah! Fuck Saturday Night Live! Trump hates Saturday Night Live! I hate Saturday Night Live! Even if he just tweet, like, Trump could tweet like, here's what I had for breakfast, post a picture of a sandwich. Totally boring bullshit. 
20,000 people. Yeah! Trump! Trump's pretty much done that, dude. Yeah, Trump's done it all. He's, like, he's huge on Twitter. He's huge! What do you think the fucking reaction of those 20 million dedicated, interested followers is going to be when Twitter says, no, the president's not allowed on here anymore? The president of the United States, the most influential person on Twitter, even before this, he became the president, he was the most influential fucking person on Twitter. We're going to take him off the fucking platform. What? That's a good financial decision? Take a huge chunk of the people who are using your service and flip them the fucking bird and say, fuck you. Are you guys like this guy? This guy's your favorite? Well, he's gone. He might be the president of America, but I'm the president of Twitter, bitch. And I say to Trump, you're fired. And you think that Twitter's users are going to be happy about that? You're going to see a mass fucking exodus from the service. You fucking saw a max exodus from the service when you motherfuckers kicked off Milo. Milo Yiannopoulos is like one one trillionth of Trump's fucking influence. Did you see the backlash for banning Milo? Imagine the fucking backlash from banning Trump. That would not be some great fucking financial decision. And hell, even people who might not even follow Trump or support Trump would be like, well, this platform's clearly not about freedom of speech. And they would leave. I would probably fucking leave. And I just passed 100,000 followers on Twitter. 100,000. You know, Scotty told me that. Scotty's like, hey, TJ, your Twitter passed 100,000 followers. I didn't have a reaction like, yes, awesome. I had a reaction like, 100,000 followers on Twitter? Oh my God, what have I done with my time? What have I done with my fucking life? That was my fucking reaction. That's the product you're selling. Something that when people hit some big benchmark on it, they're like, oh no, I'm a piece of shit. 100,000 followers on Twitter, that just means I'm a fucking waste of time moron using the world's most insipid social network. That's the fucking way people feel about this product to begin with. You're gonna take that shaky ground and start fucking shaking it worse? That's the last fucking thing Twitter goddamn needs. If anything, Twitter should fucking uh, rededicate itself to freedom of speech and say, yeah, everybody, come on, just fucking tweet. We don't give a shit. They did this uh, purging of alt-right accounts not too long ago. Bring them back. Fuck it. Alt-right, come on. Come on to Twitter. T t post your fucking Pepe memes and shit. We don't give a fuck. Post it. Milo, come on back. Here's all your old followers back. Here, we'll even throw in a few thousand more. Just to fucking sweeten the pot. Because you know why people want to go to Twitter? Because they want to follow interesting people on Twitter and see interesting fucking tweets. When you say, nah, not this point of view. Nah, not this point of view. Nah, not this point of view. All that does is send the signal that Twitter's a boring place. Twitter's a restrictive place. Twitter's a fucking place where you can't really speak your mind. How is that gonna help them? Howard Lindzen, financial fucking expert genius with a fucking big old Wikipedia article about how he's this great fucking financial whiz. If you're a financial genius, I must be a fucking financial guru. I must be the god of fucking finance. Because I could tell you that that fucking plan sucks. I could tell you that that wouldn't fucking work. I could tell you that that would be a disaster. <laughs> uh, I, I, okay, okay. Let's, you know what? I hope Twitter does ban Trump. I hope Twitter does ban Trump and all this crazy shit happens, dude. I hope Twitter bans Trump and all tr Trump's followers leave and Twitter's just fucking stock just goes. Bree!
<laughs> I want it to happen now just to prove to Howard Lindzen that he's a fucking moron. Did I even remember his name right? Howard Lindzen, right? Howard Lindzen, famous financial analyst and stock, oh, sorry, co-founder of Stock Twits. That's the name of his site. Stock Twits. Twits? I mean, it's honesty in advertising if this fucking uh, shit is any indication. But wh who the fuck would you call their company Stock Twits? It's like if you own a body shop and it's like, how about Moron Auto Repair? Yeah, people are gonna be fucking lining up for that shit. This guy's an expert? What, in what? Being a fucktard? Oh, I'm sorry, he's a stock twit. <laughs> All right, whatever, I'm done. Uh, this is obviously a very ridiculous story. Um, Trump, Trump should not be kicked off of Twitter. I think that's pretty obvious to everyone. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Peace the fuck out.